What's up, friends? And welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we're filming a Get Ready With Me with both the Mothership 5 and Natasha Safari palette. I really appreciate your support in me doing a bunch of Get Ready With Me's and just applying some eyeshadow. Giving you a heads up, before I filmed Mothership 5 and bought Safari, I was about to upload my Norvina palette review and demo, as well as another look using the Emily the wants palette and i just wanted to say that because in my previous videos i was like i ain't gonna buy him on middle range makeup and here i am showing norvina that was before the fact i still want to upload that video because i filmed it i edited it and edited it and if you are still interested remotely i don't know i'm just gonna put it on here you'll just let me know your thoughts as you guys so kindly do and i mean that genuinely i love the conversations we have on here i appreciate your input and it just helps me create a a better channel and better content without further ado if you want to see an eye look using both mothership 5 and safari then please keep on watching if my eyebrows look a little intense i just got a touch-up service at ever true if you want to see my microblading day at the salon from beginning to end before and after pictures i'll put the card up above in the video down below i forgot to film the footage of my peeling but hopefully i'll peel a little more this time around film that just so you know what it looks like you know what i mean all right how ooh, you know what i just remembered i did not prep the eyes let's go and do that i think i'm gonna do p louise today i've been juggling between p louise and and the born this way Too Faced super coverage concealer the only reason why i'm going back and forth is because p louise you have to get it delivered from the uk and it's 10 pounds shipping not about to you know replenish that on the regular it's good to know i could rely on my Too Faced for a really nice eyeshadow base i actually really love how it works i think it's phenomenal i'm not going too far on near my brow area because she is still healing so i want to make sure i just keep it right under and don't get anywhere near the border all oh, right we will not set that as it is designed to set on its own and create a nice sticky base for shadows to apply on who what should we do first i have so many great ideas i'm a little overwhelmed <laughs> because i want to use the palettes equally oh my god okay you know what i think i want to do i want to go in first with lotus maybe go in with maasai and then i want to use extreme aubergine from Mothership 5. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Let's just start there. How about that? I'm wiping on my microfiber towel. I also have the color switch, but I have to clean that sponge. In the meantime, I've been using this. I think it works pretty well. Going in with my Wayne number three, again with Lotus. Yeah, I have so much stuff on my lap, so much going on. And then I'm gonna place that on my crease oh that's a pretty shade it looks light in the pan as you saw it's not going on dusty though i think this is like an ideal light rose shade that actually appears saturated you see the pink oh what's going on there with that hair hold on you actually see the pink and it's not applying dusty but i'm sure it also helps that we're using uh an exceptional eyeshadow base i like this color a lot friends this is nice i mean yeah, i'm still hungry all right now we'll go in with maasai i will now use my wayne number four do i even have it here oh god i don't know you know what i can't find it i think it's in my other cup i'm going in with my number six brush in with maasai and then i'm gonna punch that in i say punch because i realized when doing all these safari get ready with me's that quite a few of her mats work very well just by pressing the pigment onto your skin first and then blending it out from there there's no need to over blend they, they kind of blend themselves i found and i think that was something that was always advertised but maybe not uh, in mainstream knowledge in terms of product knowledge and what's exceptional also is that once it gets on your skin that's where it stays there's no fallout and i have not experienced any fallout which i would have expected with i would like to have already uploaded look number three with the olive shades 
they did not get on my skin. And typically, those deep teal shades that have a lot of kickback they end up on your face. Didn't that time. <laughs> Taking it also on my inner third. I don't know if by this time when I upload the video, if Stephanie Nicole would have already got her hands on Grand Pro 2. I'm still seriously considering getting that palette. It'd just be nice to have a palette with all those different shiny finishes and you can use it with whatever you currently own. And I actually like the size of it because my friend Ariel from Evertrue was nice enough to bring her Grand Pro 1 to, to the salon just for me to see. On a device screen, it looks huge because of all the pans, but it's actually reasonably sized for the amount of eyeshadow in there, which I feel makes it ideal for traveling, especially because it's also slim. Taking my number three again with Lotus, and we're going to now buff those edges out. Making sure I got enough Maasai on the outer corner here, or I should say outer V. Okay, okay. Now let's go in with Extreme Aubergine. I think I will like to go in with my Nameless Flat Shader first because this is a very powerful eyeshadow. So dipping into Mothership 5 with Extreme Aubergine. And then I wanna pat that right on top of Maasai. Oh, oh man. Pat does not play around, my friend, as you see. Going in with my number six again because once we get the color down, that's when we start to blend it out. And I'm taking very light strokes. Going back with Extreme Aubergine, I'm just layering it on. Now I'm running into an issue where Extreme Aubergine is not sticking to this portion of my eye. I can see it though on the outer V, which primarily is the most important thing. I'm not sure if that's because the shadows are a different formula, but I did not experience that when I was just using shadows straight out of Safari exclusively. I do realize that when we're layering Extreme Aubergine over a shade that's purple, you can definitely see more of the eggplant undertone here, as opposed to when we were just applying to the brown shades in Mothership 5. Oh, this side fared out a lot better. You know, it could be my skin too. Sometimes it's very hard to tell what the culprit is when we run into issues like these. Which leads me to believe it's not the shadow because if it was, it will act the same on both eyes. And much like Natasha mattes, all you need to do is punch in the color and it just kind of diffuses on its own. Taking more Lotus and just blending these shades out. All right, all right, all right. What do we want to go in with next? I feel maybe let's go in with Tribe. I want to see this color in action. And with that said, I'm taking my... Oh shoot, I don't have the brush. Ugh. I'm gonna do my Sigma E25 just because it's pinched and I just need something not as fluffy as my number five or three from Wayne Goss Ugh. to place the color on my lower lash line. Well, that's freaking gorgeous. Oh, this is a nice color. You know what this color reminds me of? Persia from NARS, which, you know, before the whole being sold in China thing, this was like one of their standout signature shades. Oh, I think I went a little crazy. That's all right though. Okay, we're just gonna go big or go home. Now, next step will be to blend this out. And with that, I'm gonna take my Sigma E40 brush with the shade Desert Date. I think this is gonna be a really beautiful, diffused looking lower lash line. Taking it right on the edge, and I'm just making that gradient happen here. Now I see that I have to do a little more blending on the top lid. Top lid. There is no other top lid, Alicia. Do a little more blending on the lid because I, I took it to a halt, so let's fix that. I'm gonna go back in. I'm actually gonna mix Maasai and Extreme Aubergine and just start to create a, just pull the point out a little bit. Now I gotta go back in with Lotus because you see how got a little out of hand here on the top. Just make sure we're gonna smooth that out and it looks even. This is my problem eye after all. It looks a little better. I think we're doing all right. It's like you only know the truth when you do this and then you can actually see 
what it looks like stretched taking my e40 again and just blending now the bottom a little bit more all right all right all right i think we're doing good i'm gonna make sure both sides match got a little crazy here what happens when we get crazy friends you guessed it some loose powder i'm dipping into my Too faced ethereal loose setting powder only because i have so many freaking loose powders that i just rotate and switch them out so everyone could have a chance in life i'm taking a little bit this is my inglot 4ss brush i saw this on nikki's channel a long time ago and she was raving about it and i had to pick it up this was like a few years ago man it's been a while thing that looks a lot better i just wanted to tone down the gradient it was bleeding a little too far down for my liking you can do whatever you want though listen it's you it's all you now because we have our mats on and since we can dip out let's see if we oh you know what I feel if we did bronze, blitz bronze, that will be dope. Bronze blitz, bronze blaze. Definitely gonna go in with my Zoeva 234. I'm excited to get that Sonia G brush that picks up hard pigment and textures. Listen, if that's gonna work miracles, I cannot wait to get it. In the meantime, we're gonna dip in first into the shade. But before we go in, I will now spritz because i want to make sure that actually sticks to the center of my eye Ooh, and i realized that i also suggested in my other mothership 5 video that i could also place this on my finger and spritz my finger which also is a good alternative if you don't want to use the brush. That's pretty. I love bronze golds with purples and magentas. Oh my god, it's just my favorite. I will still take the bronze shade with my finger and just pat it down so we can really kick up the shine and the saturation. What do we think, friends? How is that looking? I think that looks really nice. I'm digging it, man. From what I see, I would rather... So, okay, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take my Smith 253 brush. This is their flat shader brush. Aim with Extreme Aubergine. I want a little bit more color here on the inner part of my lid. See that? Because I want that to not appear like there's an empty space. And I feel will make this appear a lot more cohesive. I'm just taking my small Morphe N514. Ideally, I would have liked to take my Wayne Goss number three or number four, excuse me, but it's not here with me. So we're just gonna improvise a little bit. I think that looks a lot better. Let's see here. Just got a little out of hand here. I just wanna take my flat shader and kind of pat down some of that shimmer that got too far in my eyes, okay. Ooh, you know what I wanna do though? I wanna take some Blitz Flame. Blitz Flame on top of Tribe. Stop everything you're doing! I'm gonna put it on the center. So I feel this is gonna really pump up the red and give it some shine at the same time. Ooh, can you imagine Tribe and Blitz Flame? all over the eye <gasps> uh, guess we're gonna have a lot of get ready with me friends oh i love how this is looking that's great definitely love how this is turning out now i could do a wing but i've been just doing shadow very smoky with lashes so i hope you don't mind i will love to go in with hmm a thing i want to do I freaking love Fire Opal. That teal reflect is just amazing. So that's what we'll do. I'm gonna press into it once and just gently press over the bronze shade. Look at that. I know. I know. Completely and utterly gorgeous. Got a little too far up. It's all right, just gonna carefully kick it off. Excuse me. And I'm proud to report it didn't get on my face. I think that's what it is, friends. You either gotta use the glitter glue or just press in the pan once and just press carefully on your lid. If you take too much product, it will end up on your face. And I think that's the most successful way to utilize these shadows. Because look at that. That's gorgeous. It's just beautiful. The reflect. And I know it got here on my lid. It doesn't look great on camera, but in person, it adds beautiful light to the look and again it's just like disco ball beaming party 
on your lids. All right, put some mascara on. I also applied my new Makeup Forever Artist color pencils in the shade Always Anywhere Caffeine and Versatile Chestnut with my Verona shade from my Ofra Liquid Lip. I also put in, see, okay, I bought this yesterday from Too Faced, is their peach lipstick. I was trying to find a shade similar to the Kristen Leanne and Urban Decay collab shade, which I mistakenly did not buy another one of before it completely sold out. I, I feel like they're the same. This might be a little more pink. I didn't like how pink it looked on its own. That's why I layered the Verona over it. And I think it gave me a really nice uh, pinky brown taupe nude lip. I wanted to come back on here and show you that I finally got my hands on one of Mother Pat's lip glosses. I managed to get this one. This is in the shade Alien Jelly. I had my eye on Flesh Astral because it looked so beautiful. But if I figured if I wanted to get one... I wanted to purchase the shade that just looked, you know, unlike anything that I have. It, this is like fire opal in lip gloss form. So I'm gonna apply that on. Oh my god, look at the purple. Oh yes. I gotta make sure I clean it though. I think that's so gorgeous. It's hard to see the purple glitter because I will need to like apply a flashlight, I feel, on my lips so you can see it. But I think. I think the texture is amazing. It gives the lips a beautiful shine. It feels comfortable. I love it. I also wanted to mention I applied Divine Show Glow, I believe. I always get these names confused. Skin Show Divine Glow. I applied this to my inner corner and I pressed some Astro Little Gold on top of it so it could give a little sparkle. And here is the eye look, friends, using Mothership 5 and Safari. What do we think? I really love it. I love how we can combine the eyeshadow palettes and just have a party. And I had a very easy time blending. Of course, I ran into trouble with Extreme Aubergine on this side. It wasn't a complete disaster. I felt the shadow still stuck somewhat. And I, again, feel it's either my skin or something because I didn't run into any problems on this eye. So I'm totally fine with it. Let me know what you think down below, what other combinations you might want to see. I gotta bring in my Marc Jacob eyeshadows because I think those will look bomb as well with Mothership 5 or Safari. Let me know down below if you picked up Safari, have you been loving it? Mothership 5, have you been loving it? Different ways you've been combining the eyeshadow palettes. And of course, share your thoughts down below. And that, my friends, is a wrap. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this video helped. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And until then, I'll see you on here again with another tutorial, demo, chit chat, or review. Take care and I'll see you again soon.